Hi guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Ryan here to drop you into the M1 Finance portfolio, show you a portfolio that uh, is built of a lot of different stocks. That there's 69 holdings in this portfolio, um, going on about uh, just over 15,000 in the portfolio, looking to get to that next $25,000 threshold. Uh, initially started this with the goal of getting to the 10 G's, right? So when we drop you in here and you're a new investor, you say, well, can I do this with $500? The answer is, yeah, man, you can. It's legit. M1 Finance allows that uh, possibility to take place for you where it's not possible on other brokers, okay? You can't just build a portfolio, the framework, and then invest whatever dollars you choose. It just makes sense, man. It's it's like the new wave of investing M1 Finance has made possible. So with that, guys, we'll kick you into the portfolio and conduct the review. All right, guys, welcome into the dividend growth portfolio with M1 Finance. Um, Got an interview with the CF CEO right around the corner here, uh, middle of April. Looking forward to that. Um, I am a, um, an, uh, a user of M1 Finance. I've got two portfolios with M1. This is one of them. And who said investing couldn't be fun? Uh, yeah, I want you guys to really understand. I don't do social media for any other reason to, than to share what's possible, okay? I don't do social media to come on and say, hey, if you do what I do, you'll make money. Or if you invest the way I do, you'll make money. Or invest in these specific stocks and you'll make money. I think a lot of people come to YouTube and they just want the end result of making money. And they'll tune into a video like mine, like this, and they'll see that, yes, in fact, it is making money and not really understand below the surface what's going on here, why, why I do this, how it fits into my uh, strategic plan. Uh, how it complements my total comprehensive portfolio, right? And, and though I do believe M1 Finance, yes, can make investing fun and it can render results for you. I wouldn't do YouTube and I wouldn't talk about investing in the light that I do unless I have, number one, validated for myself that investing um, as a value investor, passive investor, dividend growth investor, whatever it is you choose for your strategy can in fact render results, okay? I, I wouldn't do this if it didn't. If it was a zero-sum game, I wouldn't waste my time. And, and I think the prospects of investing in whatever capacity um, individuals can, even if it's just a start, M1 Finance can really add a lot of, um, a lot of opportunity, um, and it can add opportunity in ways that were never previously possible. I just had a question come through the channel, and the question was really awesome. It was, hey, Ryan, you know, do you think that um, you can water down a portfolio with M1 Finance by taking just a, a few hundred dollars and putting them into a, a big basket of stocks? Now, previously, the answer would have been yes, because it would have been impossible to do this. In other words, if you had just a traditional brokerage account and you were looking to start a basket of five or 10 stocks, 500 to to $1,000 really isn't going to go very far for you. M1 Finance has changed all that in, in that you can, you can get partial shares of whatever companies you want. So if you build the portfolio first and say, you know what, I want a 30 or 40 stock portfolio, great. The money will catch up eventually. But the idea is that you can become a participant sooner in the capacity that you want to be a participant rather than waiting until you, you have enough money to add certain blocks of whole shares into um, a traditional broker the way it's been set up. This is great because you can kind of, you can build a portfolio how you foresee it and then grow into the portfolio. And that's what I've done here. Um, now this portfolio, real dollars, is up over 100%, okay? Um, this is a three-phase portfolio, started out with the growth aspect, then moved into the ARK ETFs for a very short amount of time. And now I'm on this very short-term type of perspective, um, uh, excuse me, a long-term perspective, uh, where I look to grow this up over time and uh, you know pursue that next threshold for you guys, the first threshold is $1,000 invested in the market. That's your first threshold. And if you're not there, you can get there. 
um, then to 25 and then to the all elusive 10,000. That's initially why I started this portfolio to prove to investors that you could do it. And so if we scroll down here, we can see how I've divvied up the uh, 10 sectors. This is void of real estate. But uh, all the other sectors are represented here in the S&P 500. Um, they're all up. They're doing quite nicely. The thing I like about this portfolio is that contributions can be thrown at this in as little as $50. That's what I do every two weeks. And it will uh, dissipate over the portfolio in the manner that I've asked it to, to, to dissipate. Now, the $50 isn't going to go very far every two weeks. But over time, those small periodic injections, man, they, they really do add up. They add up over time. And, you know, case in point, you, you look at these. I haven't had this portfolio for very long. So if you look at the performance in technology, $121 real return in this portfolio slice. This is void of Microsoft, Apple. And remember, this is a complement to my uh, other portfolios, right? So there's going to be some positions in here that are kind of like quasi uh, positions that I don't want to take really big positions in. I would rather take starting positions in and grow those into the future. M1 Finance allows me to do that. Okay, so I'll share this pie with you guys, of course, as I always do in the comments section of this video. And you guys can kick into each of these individual slices the way I have this allocated. And I'll just close in saying this. If you don't like the way I have this portfolio built, you can use the same framework I have here. Go in here, edit the slices appropriate for how you want to seek out your exposure. It doesn't have to be the same way I have. Or you could just, from this edit page, click edit and change the target allocation. Maybe you want to have healthcare as the lion's share of the portfolio. Maybe you want to have financials on the top end, right? Maybe you don't like this 15, 14, 13, 11, 11. This is the target allocation here that I've got set. Uh, but the idea here is to share information. And, and by sharing that information, for you to understand that you could take this portfolio and it could become 100% customizable to your needs. And, and I, I think the technology of M1 Finance bringing that capability to investors really opens the floodgates and, and opens the doors of opportunity to investing for a lot of investors out there, whether or not you're looking for an additional layer on an existing program, or if you're a beginning investor looking to get your start. So with that, guys, we'll kick you back to YouTube and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the portfolio review. Hope you enjoyed this. This is just an awesome way of investing. It's a new wave of investing for you new investors that are making your way to the stock market now. Congratulations. I mean, the red carpet is, is laid out right in front of you. You can do things now that were never possible. You can invest for free. You can invest in what you want, how you want. You can invest with whatever dollar amount you choose to start with. That was never possible. That was never possible when I started investing. And that's where the excitement lies in me providing this testimonial to you guys to let you know what products are available, what, what is possible in investing. And I think it's going to blow down a lot of barriers for you guys uh, that think investing is just some mystical place that's just too overwhelming. Uh, because I do insist that everybody should invest absolutely and looking to provide those um, um, uh, opportunities for uh, entry into the market and, and, and blowing down some of those barriers to entry that people think are, are and keep people from investing in the first place. If you enjoy the message that we've got coming through the Independent Investor Channel, uh, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video and share the message with anybody out there that you know it has a, a, um, a slight interest in stock market investing, okay? Um, we start from scratch. This channel is great for beginning investors. Um, we explain things in very simplistic terms. Uh, we talk about becoming a participant in stock market investing as opposed to investing which scares a lot of people off to um, the very fruits and the benefits of uh, starting on a wealth building program for yourself. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.